Round three highlights from Latino America Tours Lexus Peru Open held in Lima, Peru at the Los Incas Golf Club. And we will start it off on the eighth hole. It's Tano Goya is sitting at seven under to this point. This is his third shot on the par five. Coming off a second round 66. He slowed down a bit, though, on Saturday. A beautiful approach there for Goya, though, as he goes on to make birdie to move it to eight under par overall. He would finish even par on the day. Rafael Becker has a long look at birdie here to move it to seven under par. He bogeyed the first, gets it back there on the third, finishes up one under on the day, also at eight under overall. Mauricio Azcu sitting at seven under to this point. This is his final hole of the day. His second shot on the 18th, coming off his only drop shot of his round on 17. Looking to bounce back here on his 54th hole of the week. And he will get that birdie to go. Finishing at eight under. A third round 69 for Mauricio Azcu. Armando Villarreal on the 12th, his second shot on the par four, sitting at seven under. As he sticks it to within four feet of the hole, will go on to make that birdie. So birdie 14 as well to get to nine under overall, and he has five off the lead. And we know those little rounds have come frequently on Sunday in Latino America Tour. So five shots back is very doable on this tour. Sebastian Saavedra from the bunker. That was his third shot as he makes the birdie there. He had a bogey free round. So the man from Argentina places himself in contention as well. A four under 68 on Saturday, nine under overall. Gustavo Acosto looking at a long downhill putt. It looked like it was just going to stop short, but curls right in for a birdie on the third. He would birdie two of his first three holes. And he was not done yet as we stay with Acosta and head over to the eighth from the greenside bunker. His third shot, beautiful, but just misses the edge of that cup, leaving himself a look at birdie to move it to 10 under par. And he would finish up in solo second at 11 under overall, three off the lead thanks to a Saturday 68. Julian Etulane, though, he is the man to beat come Sunday. Remember, he is third on the money list. He had a win earlier this season in Panama. Beautiful approach shot there. He would go on to make that birdie. He was coming off birdie on 11. So back-to-back -back birdies for Etulane. And then we will stay with Etulane heading over to the 14th, though. He would par 13. And then makes that one on 14 with the big fist pump. Knows how big all of these birdies are coming down the stretch. He's 13 under this point, two clear of the field. Then we'll head over to the 18th. Second shot on the par four. So Ed Tulane already solidified his spot in the top five on the money list, but looking to do even better by winning for his second time this season and what better way to roll in momentum on Sunday than with a nice birdie on the last. He will enter Sunday with a three-shot lead, searching for his second win of the season.